Good afternoon, everybody. There's Nitro Scott there throwing in a sub right during the intro or the, the starting stream soon here. That's fantastic. I know the longest stream intro ever right there, Schmitty. Always, always me with the longest stream intro ever. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to be starting Clock Tower here in a moment. Um, about 30 seconds. Give me another, uh, another 30 here. And I got a few things to get ready and I will see you then. Stick around. Let's get it started, everybody. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Oh, boy. Clock tower. Clock tower. I don't have any cheat codes. There's no way I could have cheat codes for this, man. There's just... There, there's no possible way. Since we're playing it on a PS3... Uh, there, there's no cheat codes, right? There's no flipping cheat codes whatsoever. And I don't know why my daily sub count is not working. I couldn't tell you. But here's the one thing I can tell you, everybody. This game of is that I'm going to need some help with this game. I have oh, not played this no. game in, like, forever. Oh, <laughs> Really? Oh, these games, these games were popular. These games were um, very popular. Sorry, my nose is a little stuffy. I'm trying to trying to get it uh, fixed. Anyway. These games are fetching big bucks now, Nitrous. No joke that these games are getting expensive. Just like any video game, though, these days are getting expensive. Um... Here's the one we're playing today. Clock Tower. I bought this game back, like, I bought this game forever ago. Shit, this game came back out in 97. But I'm, I'm sure Clock Tower is well worth over 100 bucks. And I bet Clock Tower 2 is worth over $200. Hell, I bet you Clock Tower 2 is worth 150 And I bet Clock Tower 2 is worth 250 Let's take a look-see, shall we?
Oh my god, they updated this. This looks sexy. Oh my god, they updated the retro game collecting app. Oh my goodness. It looks good. It looks good. Damn. Damn. It's all new. Oh, okay. I was totally wrong, Nitrous. I'm seeing... Clock Tower 1 complete is fetching around 200, 227. 227. Okay? Clock Tower 3, shit you not, people want 400 bucks for it. Oh my god! I didn't pay 400 bucks for this. I probably paid $20 for Clock Tower 3 and probably paid $20 for, dollars for Clock Tower 1. Can you believe that shit? What is happening to society? What is happening to this retro game community? I need to sell all my retro games and just retire. And just, like, emulate games on Twitch. I mean, I could probably pay all my student loans back. But you know what, though? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. What's up, David84? What's up, man? Yeah, this shit is crazy. Ah, yes. But that's, that's Sterling, though. That's, that's... That's looking for sterling, though. That's sterling. That's silver pounds, right? Look up for the U.S. release. Look up Look up the NTSC release of it. Look at this shit. You guys remember this? The ultimate one-handed controller for strategy and RPG games. <laughs> that's expensive for a sealed. Wish I would have bought all this shit years ago and, like, didn't open it. Ah, we do need to add Mega Man 7 to my collection. I got my... I got Monkey in sitting right over here for you, Schmitty. I, I, he's sitting right there. I can see him. He's looking at me. He's... He's mocking me. Sealed for Clock Tower 2 is about 900. Yeah. So anyway, this is our, um... Uh, Clock Tower is the series that we're looking at this week over on our uh, horror gaming fans. I put the link up there. You can check it out over on Facebook. But Clock Tower is a series that we're kind of uh, acknowledging this week. Uh, I'm sorry. I got some AC going on in this room just because it's going to hit about 100 today. It is hot here in Montana. But anyway, um, Cl uh, Clock Tower is a series, uh, our game of the week series. Over on Horror Game Fans, you can check it out right there. The bottom link I just posted up. Give it a look, but uh, we're going to play Clock Tower 1 today. And I'm going to need some help with this because I don't remember playing Clock Tower at all. Maybe just a little bit. Like, this wasn't my go-to uh, series. Resident Evil was my go-to series. I can't believe those games have gotten that expensive. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous, but I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I'm hanging in there a little bit. Uh, I don't know how many streams I have left before my wife and I have to pack up and move. So um, they're winding down. They're getting fewer and uh, far between. Well, thank you. Thank you, Coop. I'm uh I'm trying to feel better, you know. I mean, I I still feel pretty haggard. You know, I I'm I'm still haggard, my friend, but thank you for that. I appreciate that. I do have a uh I do have a doctor's I have a, rheum a rheumatologist doctor's appointment on June 10th. No, man, I haven't... It. Ooh. That is my brother calling me. I have to take this call. I have to take this call. I'll be right back, everybody.
All right, everybody, I apologize for that break there. I had to talk to my brother. What did you miss? Um, we don't know where we're moving, uh, Nitrous. We have no idea. Um, I did find a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I did find a job over in Wisconsin that I need to apply for. And we'll see if that works out, you know, but um, for the now, uh, nothing. We just have to move. I think we're just moving out of our place here. So that's going to be tough, man. It's just, uh, it's tough to find work, man. Decent work, you know, full-time work that pays a living. That's something that I work in. My wife works in. It's just hard. It's just hard. Times are tough now, my friend. Times are tough. Wish I made like $80,000 a year streaming video games. I could do that for the rest of my life, probably. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started in this game. I'm, like I said, I'm going to need some help with this game because I do not remember it. All right? Come on. Is my controller not connecting? Oh, yeah. Let me try something here. Um, I did. Everything that I found online, well, Nitrous, crazy, but it looks like they were is, um, uh, adjunct. It's not permanent. It's not full-time. It doesn't have insurance. Stretches across the oh, my controller is not working with this. Here. I need to figure out how to sync this controller up. It is a shame, but universities, man, are just hurting, you know? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Does anybody know how to sync these controllers up? <laughs> Look at this button I have. I know it's tough to see, but it says Ritalin. So much easier than parenting. Yeah, I got to figure this out. Because the controller works when I plug it in. Okay, okay, I think we might have it. I think we might have it, everybody. Right? You like that button? I think that button's funnier than hell. All right, sorry this is taking so long, people. I, I do apologize. I got my destiny pin. So I think this is going to work. Hang on a second, everybody. I think I gotta I gotta reset this. I need this controller to sync up to my PS3, and it's not. 
I don't know if this game is based on a true story. Ah, Shadow Lich might know. See, look at that. I'm trying to sync this PS3 controller. That is definitely not working. The evil Shit, I'm sorry. I've been live for half an hour and haven't even started this goddamn game yet. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. Yep, we're gonna have to quit it. I gotta look this up quick. I'm sorry, everybody. What? Okay, so this is telling me to turn off my PS3. What? Turn off the PS3 controller. Plug the controller into the USB port on the console. Turn on your PS3. Jesus, is this like... How frustrating. All right. Well, if that's not going to work, let's see if I can plug it into this. Maybe my battery's dead on my controller. You ever wonder that? Sorry it's taken so long, guys. I know I'm killing the mood. Uh, it's based on... Uh, influence came from horror films. Okay, I did not know that. Dario Argento's horror films. What did Dario make? Do you mind me asking?
Jesus. Well, shit, you guys. Let's just play it. Apparently, my PS3 controller isn't working. Whatever. All right, let's do it. I just got to play with it plugged in, man. That's what has to happen. I'm sure this is... Hey. Don't you like that? You guys want to hear that again? Let's do that. How classic is that? You know, I recently looked at a job for Sony there. Um, Nitrous. I looked at a job for at Sony, but they needed a... Uh, dude, they needed a lot of... They wanted a lot of stuff. Bammer, it's so good to see you. All right, so again, like I said, I'm gonna need help with this game, you guys, so. What's up, people? Ted? Prologue. Now loading. This is a point-and-click game, you guys. I haven't played this in, like, two decades. Oh, it hasn't been out that long, but... You know what I'm saying. Been a long time. Evil Ted, how are you doing today? What are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating. Dude, they got the Tomb Raider people. boobs. <laughs> I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. May be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Hang on. Turning up the gain here to see if you guys can hear it a little bit better. Ooh, does that sound a little bit better for you guys? I think that sounds a little bit better. What's this? What's this? There's magic in the air. What's this? What's this? I found hint number one. Demons. I think I remember a, a movie called Demons.
forgot this was point and click. It feels like a CDI game. He has a lot of films. Those are probably his best known in America. I remember Demons. I remember the cover art for it. I think there was like a crazy... Yeah, it's a messed up teeth on the front of it. I think it just said Demons and it had a, a demon like right on the front of it. Hey, look at this skull. People certainly buy stupid things. Yes, they do, don't they? Yes, they do. I can run in this. Look at this. I think I can. You like that track fed printer paper? You guys hearing that shit? Anybody want to help me with what the hell I need to do?
Oh, Scissor Man is very real. He runs around and castrates people. I got a feeling this is going to be a long game, isn't it? Moving on. All right, first floor, baby. Nolan. Are they given a stereotype for what Nolan, the cameraman, should look like? Where's his camera? <laughs> Where's his camera at? Oh, there we go. I guess it's a picture camera. Scissor Man's creepy if you guys never seen him. He's really creepy.
interview's over. It does feel like a CDI game. I was just in the therapy room, damn it. Look at these old computers, right? Isn't that great? Named Rick. Show it to a man named Rick. This is a slow moving game. It's crazy to think that a game like this, you know, was made in 97, and then you have a game like Resident Evil that comes out that is like full action, interactive, and, uh, it, you know, it's just a, a different kind of horror. 
This makes me think of D a little bit. If you guys ever played the game D for the PlayStation 1. Oh, shit. Where will we go? I don't know. Anybody know where to go first? Evil Ted's chilling out. I like that, Evil Ted. Evil Ted, so how is your day going, though? Have you been playing any good games lately? I don't think anyone's talking to me right now, and I'm kind of going crazy. To the research building. You know, how was that? And what is that? Is that on the Switch? I remember the first time I played Wolfenstein. It was just like the best thing ever. It was so good. My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. Oh, the Xbox One X, huh? Or the Xbox One? I bet that looks good. You know, I mean, there was something fun about playing those old games. I, um, like Duke Nukem and stuff like that. I remember playing a lot of those for the PC. Doom. I remember when I... Y you know, Ted, the first time I ever played Doom, it was like by complete accident. I had a... I had a disc that had a bunch of games on it. Um, and somewhere in the game disc directory, like, Doom was there. And Doom wasn't even advertised on the game. It was just like a free game. And I remember finding it and playing it and was just like, what is this game? And being scared, you know, like spooked out about it. And um, it was on a game. It was on a disc with a game that had a, a, a Doom was on a disc with a game called Keen, like K-E-E-N. And I wanted to like Keen, but it was hard to like Keen when Doom was on there. You know, it's just, you know, but I don't remember the shortcut keys for the, for the cheat. So IDDQD and IDKFA, I don't remember those.
God mode in all weapons. I remember I played a lot of Hexen too. You remember Hexen? I got that for the PlayStation. But I played it for the PC a lot. Say hello, Edward. Don't be rude now. God mode and all weapons. Oh, Nordic Foxtail. How the hell did you get the OG clock tower? Dude, I own it. I've... Nordic. Like, this is what I do, man. Hang on. You gotta think, though, Nordic, like... You know, I probably bought... I bought clock tower over... I probably bought clock tower in 2000. Man, this came out in 97. I probably bought it in 2000. You know? Um... And Clock Tower 2. You know, like, I probably paid $20 for both, of, for one of each of these. $20 for this one, $20 for this one. Um, and I don't remember playing Clock Tower. I, I really don't. You know, because by the time, you know, I bought Clock Tower, I was hammering on Resident Evil, you know? Um, yeah, these are my original copies, dude. These are, these are it. You know, and that's my thing, Nordics. I think you know that. That the, uh, um, I stream original, I stream retro game, I stream retro games using original carts and discs. I don't emulate, right? So, this is my original copy. You know, I didn't pay what prices are these days. And this is actually our game, our series kind of of the week over on our, um, fan pages. Have you ever played this Nordic? Yeah, man, I, I'm in the US, Nordic. I, I live in Montana. Um, hence my Montana logo. But my pride shirt, right? Gotta gotta love the pride shirt today. This month. So there was a clock tower that was released for the Super Nintendo. I believe that's a port, and if Shadow Lich is in still still in here, he might understand. A, he might know it a little bit better than me. And you can buy both of those version Nordic, but Nordic those those issues of these games like we just found out that Clock Tower for the PS1 is like 250 bucks and Clock Tower 2 for the PS1 is like $450. It's insane. copy of three i think it's for the ps2 right but good luck finding a copy of um it for the ps1 i mean let's see let's see what it's go like let's see what we're hitting at on ebay prices
Yeah. Yeah, there's two days left on a copy for part two at $212. Um, all right, 300 bucks are best offer. Dude, I didn't realize they were that much money. So if you're a huge retro game collector fan, Nordic, I recommend using the retro game collector app. I'm partnered with him, and you can see them in the lower left-hand corner on my, uh, on my account. And you can see the copies of these games have just shot up so much. It's so dumb. Wow, Dino Crisis 2 was 100 bucks. Einhander is 237. I own that game. <laughs> Kudelka's like $400. I own Kudelka. Parasite Eve 2 is like 200. Persona Revelations is like 500 bucks is what they're stating it at. And Persona 2 is like 350. You've got to be kidding me. Jeez. I'm, you know, I, I bought a copy of Sukaden 2 like, like three years ago. I spent like 160 bucks on it. Now the game's like $400. They do need to remake Dino Crisis Nordic. I totally agree with that. Is Evil Ted still in here? Oh, he's asking her out. I played Dino Crisis back for Halloween. I think that's actually how I started my Halloween stream. Was with uh, Dino Crisis. That game took me a lot longer than I than I anticipated. And I don't know if you've ever played Dino Crisis 2, but it is completely different. <gasps> Someone seems to be following me. Let's go into the creepy park by myself. That's a great place to go. You know? Yeah, they need to remake Dino Crisis. I totally agree. I think that'd be good. What's wrong? Help. Someone is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo? Oh my god! <laughs> you wish you could stay, but you gotta go. You need to start your stream in two. You're taking a month off of watching Twitch. It's been cutting your life a lot lately, so I need time for other things. Nordic, I totally agree. Um, you know, I haven't been streaming as much lately, too. If one, my health has been kicking my butt. I have, my health is not good. Um, my my nose is... is I, I have that perforated septum. I finally meet with another doctor on June 10th. But in regards to that... Um, I mean, it, it, not related to that... Uh, my wife and I are going to have to be moving. Um, still don't have work. I don't know where we're going to move to. But that being said, like, I'm going to have to start backing up my stream room here. Like, you're, I'm not going to have too many streams left in this room. You know, I'll have to start packing everything up and taking things down. So it might be two months, three months before I stream again. And that really sucks. You know, that, that really does. It hurts. Um, but... That's what it might have to be. So I understand that, man. If you need to take time from watching Twitch and, uh, you know, I mean, I had to quit playing. I had to quit streaming games because it was cutting into my life a lot. Um, just at a time where I don't have a lot of time. So 
I definitely appreciate you stopping by and hanging out for as long as you have and, and doing what you can. Um, maybe we'll see you back here a couple times again. You know, I mean, I, I get it, dude. So uh, just thanks for stopping by, man. I really, really appreciate it. That guy is creepy. Yeah, man, I, I get it. You know, I don't even I don't even have time to stream myself, let alone watch other people's streams. I try when I can. I now have an oil can. Check the oil, baby. What are you gonna be streaming today, Nordic? What's this? What's this? I found a ladder key. What's this? What's this? It's a big mystery. Right? What the hell? No, 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 no. Go back through the door. Right, the guard didn't have a, anything to say. Just sit there like a horse's ass. What's up, Duke? Uh, Duke, it looks like this is your first time here, so uh, welcome, Duke, to the channel. My name's Nick, but I go by Slap Artist, and I stream retro games using original carts and discs, no emulation whatsoever. We do have Clock Tower as our series of the week over on retro gaming, on, on horror game fans. I put the link up there. Um, I do have a fantastic YouTube page, about 400 retro streams over there. I do have a Twitter account if you're interested. We have an even better Discord. And if you like retro, this is the place to be. Um, fastest retro growing channel on Twitch. I mean, probably not anymore. I've, I've taken some time off uh, streaming. But uh, yeah, the, uh, give us a follow, show your support, follow, cheer, subscribe, like the channel. Definitely appreciate it. We are hammering through Clock Tower 1 here. And then after this, we'll be doing Clock Tower 2. Again, no emulation whatsoever. These are my original copies of this game. That I probably picked back up in uh, 2000. Like I said, I didn't play a lot of uh, Clock Tower because Resident Evil came out, and it it's such a better series. You know, I I hate to say that, but it really is. It's just more engaging, more interactive. You know, it feels like an old the old game D, which I love the game D. What the f I don't know if one person killed is a mass murderer. I know I saw the scissor man. I saw the scissor man. That guy's shouting F bombs, dude. I 
I think it'd be fun to be Scissor Man for Halloween. I just don't know how many people would understand that reference. Ah, looking for the statue. Ah, we gave it away for a little bit. So, Duke, what's your favorite game? What's your favorite console? We always like to ask new people in the channel, what do you like? I know it's a little dead in here right now. I'm streaming a hell of a lot earlier than I normally do, so... One for a name named Rick. A man named Rick. No, oh, dude. Yes. Super Nintendo is definitely my favorite console. I just don't think you could ever beat the Super Nintendo. And then my favorite video game of all time is Super Metroid. Love that game. And Mega Man X4, um, is that a PlayStation game? Because I think they only made, what, X1, 2, and 3 for the SNES, right? I don't think I have any Mega Man games for the PlayStation, if that's what it's for. Is it for the PS1, Duke? So it was the Scissor Man. It totally was a Scissor Man. Oh my goodness. Uh, a couple months ago, I was watching, uh, my wife and I were up in another town. This was, this was back in like December. And, um, my wife and I were at a hotel room and we were flipping through some channels and, and there was an episode of South Park on and Mr. Garrison, right? Garrison was on there. And I think he was going to, I think he was going to some transgender bars if I remember correctly, something to that extent. And, and I can't get it I can't get it out of my head. But I think I, I just remember Mr. Garrison like Obviously they weren't having sex, but Mr. Garrison was scissoring like another person from the bar and all he kept saying was like scissor me timbers. Scissor me timbers. And I'm not a big South Park fan. I can't I can't watch it. 
And uh, all I could do, I just laughed. All I could do was just laugh for like an hour about that. And I think we right, we channel surfed a little bit and came back to it. And then Mr. Garrison was doing it again. God, it was just crazy. I had a sneeze. I didn't think you guys want to hear that. Do we send him or not? I don't know. You know, there's like no audio in this game. It's just so bizarre. Oh, I see Joe in here. I see Jim the Worm. I always like Jim in here. He's always, he just kind of lurks. He's a lurker. Here we go, we get some music. Finding a little bit more about the scissor man. chandelier is a farewell present when I retired. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were, except for...
gives the chandeliers a present. I agree. The scissor man does. Uh oh, scissor me timbers. <laughs> Like a zombie off Resident Evil. Brains. Right? I don't care what you say. Back in 1997, he was creepy. Scissor Man was creepy. Here, my good butler, you serve me well. Take the chandelier that's obviously too big for your house. I think the butler has a big house, like an extraordinary large house anyway. It's about 30 centimeters tall. Only 30 centimeters tall. Let's go look at that chandelier again, shall we? That thing's massive. This could be used to blind somebody. Now I got the powder. <coughs> Jeez, sorry.
<laughs> Through the soap in the dog's eyes. Soap in the dog's eyes. How crazy is that? All right, everybody. Um, my wife is actually coming home right now. Uh, I promised her a little bit earlier for dinner. She's actually going to go plant a bunch of flowers. But um, I'm going to help for us. I'm going to take a break for about an hour and prep some dinner with her. And then I'll be back. So give me about an hour, everybody, and I shall return. We'll see if we can wrap this game up here um, this evening. I mean, we're, we're pretty far in, you know, about halfway through it. So, but I'm going to take a break. Get a little food in my belly. Um, see my wife here for a few moments. Um, but she has to be out of here, I think, by 6. So, yeah, about an hour and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But I'll be back, everybody. And we'll be continuing on here with some more Clock Tower. Um, I do apologize for the just the short play of about an hour and a half, but um, my wife made me ribs last night, so I figured the best I could do is, is help prep some dinner for her. So. so from there, uh, we got Coop in here. We got Joe, Shadow Lich, but Evil, Jim, Duke, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I know it seems like such a short stream, but we will be back. I just... I got to do this with my wife. I promised her I would help her make some food. And she's been running her ass and busting her ass all day. So I think it's probably good for me to do that. So, All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in about an hour and a half. We'll continue on with Clock Tower 2, our Clock Tower here. And then we'll be jumping into Clock Tower 2. So if you like the channel, please feel free to show your support by following, sharing, subscribing, or donating to the channel. Do have that YouTube channel. We do have that Twitter. And even better yet, we have that Discord. Make sure you subscribe to there. Jump into that uh, Discord. You can also promote your channel if you're a streamer as well. And don't forget to check out our fan pages there. Clock Tower is the series um, for our horror game fans page of the week. Our game of the week. So, everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see everyone soon.